Good evening. On behalf of the clergy and people of All Saints Episcopal Church in Concord, North Carolina, I welcome you to Night Prayer or Compline for this Tuesday, July 9th. My name is Reverend Jim Bernanke. And I'm joined by the Reverend Mary uh, Elizabeth Reese, who will take the part of the congregation while I take the part of the officiant or leader. We invite you to join in with the congregation parts marked in bold print. Let us begin this service of prayer to our wonderful God. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord. The maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Our psalm appointed for today is Psalm 143, verses 1 to 11. We'll recite the psalm responsively by whole verse. Please join in the even-numbered verses. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and in your faithfulness give ear to my supplications. Answer me in your righteousness. Enter not into judgment with your servant. For in your sight shall no one living be justified. For the enemy has pursued me, crushing my life to the ground, making me sit in darkness like those long dead. My spirit faints within me. My heart within me is desolate. I remember the times past. I muse upon all your deeds. I consider the works of your hands. I stretch out my hands to you. My soul gasps for you like a thirsty lamb. O Lord, make haste to answer me. My spirit fails me. Hide not your face from me, lest I be like those who go down to the pit. Let me hear of your loving kindness in the morning, for in you I put my trust. Show me the way I should walk in, for I lift up my soul to you. Deliver me, O Lord, from my enemies, for I flee to you for refuge. Teach me to do what pleases you, for you are my God. Your kindly spirit lead me on a level path. Revive me, O Lord, for your name's sake. For your righteousness' sake, bring me out of trouble. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. 
Our scripture reading this evening is taken from Paul's first letter to the Thessalonians, chapter 5, verses 9 and 10. God has destined us not for wrath, but for obtaining salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, so that whether we are awake or asleep, we may live with him. Thanks be to God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, Hear our prayer. And let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Visit our places, O Lord, and drive far from them all snares of the enemy. Let your holy angels dwell with us to preserve us in peace. And let your blessing be upon us always through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O God, your unfailing providence sustains the world we live in and the life we live. Watch over those both night and day who work while others sleep and grant that we may never forget that our common life depends upon each other's toil. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. At this time, I would like to invite your prayers of petition or thanksgivings, either out loud or in silence. We continue to pray for the people of Ukraine and the people of Russia and the people of the Middle East, especially Israel and Palestine. Grant that there may be a true and lasting and just peace in those areas. We also pray for peace in our world and in our country. And we thank you, Father, for all your blessings, past, present, and future. Please join in the people's parts for the Canticle of Simeon. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior. whom you have prepared for all the world to see. A light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. 
Thank you for joining us in Night Prayer this Tuesday, July 9th. We hope that you can join in our remaining online prayer services this week. Noonday prayer tomorrow and every Wednesday at 12 noon. The services of, Li of Holy Eucharist live stream from All Saints every Sunday at 9 and 11, 10 a.m. with prelude music at 11 and our weekly service of Compline next Tuesday and every Tuesday at 8 p.m. These services can be found on the website of All Saints Episcopal Church, Concord, North Carolina, www.allsaintsconcord.org, on the All Saints Concord Facebook page, or on the All Saints Episcopal Church, Concord, North Carolina YouTube page. We also invite you to attend our in-person Holy Eucharist services every Sunday at 9 and 11.10 a.m. The 9 o'clock contemporary service, which is child and family friendly, is located in the parish hall, while the 11.10 a.m. traditional service with organ and choir is located in the main church. All Saints is located at 525 Lake Concord Road Northeast, Concord, North Carolina, 28025. If there's any way that we can assist you, please contact us at our church office, area code 704-782-2024. Our church office is open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. On behalf of the Reverend Nancy Cox, Director of All Saints Episcopal Church, along with our vestry, clergy, and lay leaders, we pray that you have a good rest of the week. Take care, and may God bless you this night and always.